హలో అని డాక్టర్ తృప్తి పోపాయగా ఫ్రమ్ కేఎం హాస్పిటల్ ముంబై విల్ బి ప్రెజెంటింగ్ పేపర్ ఆన్ ద టాపిక్ వాలిడేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ ఒవీరియన్ ట్యూమర్ అనాలసిస్ మోడల్ ఫర్ ఇవాల్యుయేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఒవీరియన్ లీజన్స్ విత్ అల్ట్రాసౌండ్ అండ్ సిస్ట పథలాజికల్ కో రెగ్యులేషన్ అండర్ ది గైడెన్స్ ఆఫ్ డాక్టర్ హిమాంగిని ధక్కా మ్యామ్ the aim of my study is to validate the aorta model for evaluation of ovarian lesions with ultrasound and color doppler and his aim is to the pathological correlation introduction the ovarian cancer cancer is considered the most aggressive gynecological malignancy constituting the sixth most common cancer occurring worldwide among the women in a developed country at the time of diagnosis the majority of the women have an advanced stage disease owing to its aggressive nature despite the surgery and chemotherapy the prognosis of the women is poor with 5 year survival rate less than 30% effective prevention and the early diagnosis have been shown to increase the survival rate up to 85 to 90% the transvaginal sonography can identify the changes in the ovarian sizes structure and thereby detect the early ovarian malignancy the limiting factor in the characterization of the ovarian masses is the lack of standardized protocol in gynecological ultrasound hence the standardized method for pre operative assessment of the ovarian masses was defined by the aorta the international ovarian tumor analysis group was founded in 1999 by the term tumor man the lead valentin and the tom bone aorta developed various models the simple rule mathematical models based on the logistic regression the adnex the assessment of a different neoplasms in adnex model the first predictive multi class model the aorta simple rule consists of the five ultrasound features of the benign tumor that is the b feature and five ultrasound features of the malignant tumor m feature the tumors are classified as the benign if only the b features are found and the malignant only if the m features are found if no feature no, no features are observed or both are observed the simple rule cannot be classified the tumor as the benign and the malignant this inconclusive result can be classified using the subjective assessment by an experienced sonologist or can all be classified as the malignant to increase the sensitivity for the ovarian cancer the adnex model was developed on 3506 patients studied between the 1999 and 2007 this model can differentiate between the four subgroup of the malignant tumor namely benign borderline stage 1 stage 2 to 4 or the metastatic the study method the study designed a single center prospective observational study for diagnostic accuracy of ovata model with the ultrasound and color doppler the population the patient underwent the pre operative ultrasound for ovarian lesion study setting tertiary care hospital period 12 months number of patient 25 which were studied over a period of 12 months inclusion criteria the patient aged between the 18 to 90 years patient presented with the adnexal masses for the bilateral adnexal masses the mass with the most complex ultrasound features was included if both the masses are similar ultrasound marker to the largest mass or the one with the most accessible was included exclusion criteria pregnancy at the time of examination a refusal for transvaginal ultrasonography declining participation patient with a previous bilateral oophorectomy non availability of a ca125 report the study procedure the study was conducted over the 12 months after the approval of the iac epidemiological factors of such as the uh, age was included the necessary history and the investigation reports were uh, noted the relevant laboratory investigations include ca125 level and the post operative histopathological report the data collection and the ultrasound examination were done in the usg department using a samsung ultrasound machine in a gray scale and the color doppler mode using a curvy linear and the transvaginal probe reference test the reference standard was the histopathological diagnosis of the mass after the surgical resection data analysis this data was collected and compiled using the microsoft excel 2019 and entered into scss version 226.0 and the p value less than 0.05 was taken as the level of significance representative cases case 1 This is the case of 35 year old woman which presented with the left adnexal mass and CA125 levels for the 50 international unit per ml. The above lesion shows the maximum diameter of the lesion was 91 mm. The lesion is a multilocular with the less than 10 locus. There is a presence of a solid component with the maximum diameter of less than 20 mm and there is no acoustic shadowing, no ascites. However, there is a minimal curve flow. The classification of the by the simple rule is inconclusive there is fact this percentage by the adnex model is 
the benign uh, lesion cutoff was taken as 29.35 and the histopathological diagnosis of this lesion is the ben uh, was the benign that is a mucinous histadenoma case 2 of the 48 year old woman who presented with the bilateral adnexal ovarian masses however the larger lesion on the right ovary was selected for the study and the ca125 level were raised on was 119 international unit per ml this lesion was showing a maximum diameter of the 94 mm and it was a solid lesion with the ascites and high flow on the top lobe the classification by the simple rule is the malignant lesion a risk percentage by the adnex is 98.8 and the histopathological correlation was the malignant lesion with the metastatic ovarian carcinoma is 3 <clears throat> So, 35-year-old woman presented with the left ovarian lesion. CA125 was 1998 international unit per ml. This lesion uh, is of the size 83 mm. It is a unilocular lesion. Presence of the solid component with the maximum diameter was the 98.9.8 mm. No caustic showing, no uh, ascites, no flow on Doppler. The classification by the simple rule is benign. This percentage factor by the next model is 10.3%. and histological diagnosis is a benign cystic histadenoma case 4 of a 32 year old woman c125 level was 60 the maximum diameter of the lesion was 65 mm multilocular lesion with the less than 10 locus no solid component presence of the acoustic shadowing no ascites minimal flow on the doppler the classification by the simple rule is benign lesion risk percentage by the adnex model was 4.1% and histopathological diagnosis was the benign that is the stroma ovary the results by taking into consideration the characteristic lesion the simple rules of the outer were applied 15 lesions were the classified as the benign 5% were malignant and the 5% were the incidentally present on hp reports the four rep- the four subjects reported having the malignancy a min risk percentage of the benign lesion was 11.48 and the malignant lesion was 80.4 the unpaired data showed the difference in the mean between this two was statistically significant the roc is interpreted by the area under curve the area under curve ranges from the 0 to 1 higher the auc higher the prediction a risk percentage using adnex model with the cutoff of 29.35 was 0.988 which is a very good predictor for identifying the malignant lesion a result by taking into consideration the characteristics of the le- discussion by applying the simple rules the sensitivity specificity positive predictive and negative predictive value were 100% 95% 80% and 100% respectively that is the high sensitivity and the negative predictive values are particularly helpful in detecting the malignancy and assure the examiner that the malignant cases will not be missed The adnex is a good predictor of the malignancy with high sensitivity and good specificity. Furthermore, the adnex model can separate the stage two to four ovarian cancer from this other tumor. Limitations of the study were the limited sample size, limited availability of CA125, did not take count of inter-observer variability. Hence, the ultrasound is an easily available modality with the low cost operability compared to the CT and MRI. A outer model can be helpful in differentiating benign versus the malignant lesion. with the high sensitivity in detecting the malignant lesions and good specificity good specificity simple rules are simple to apply even by the non expert examiner with the excellent sensitivity and adnex model provides a risk percentage of the malignancy with the better specificity thank you